in a bid to address incessant religious and ethnic clashes in the country, the African Center for Media and Information Literacy, AFRICMIL, on Thursday, January 23, 2020, launched a project on media and information literacy and interreligious dialogue. The project, which is supported by the Canada Fund for Local Initiatives, CFLI, is meant to equip religious leaders with the capacity to navigate the media and engage their followers and those of other faiths to foster peace and understanding using media and information literacy as a tool. In his welcome address, Dr. Chido Onuma, coordinator of AFRICMIL, said there are genuine fears of religious conflict breaking out in Nigeria which could threaten not just the peace but the unity of the country if not quickly checked. He noted that social media was one source of concern as it is being used to peddle fake news, hate speech and messages aimed at causing disaffection among Nigerians. There are genuine fears of religious conflicts breaking out in Nigeria which could threaten not just the peace but the unity of the country. If not quickly checked, Nigeria has increasingly degenerated from a multi-ethnic, multi-religious but united society into a theater of unhealthy rivalry between Christianity and Islam. Religious and ethnic stereotyping as well as hate speeches is on the increase with dire consequences on national unity and nation building. Uh, the government has responded to the rising tension in the country by trying to pass a law to criminalize hate speech. But that's not the way to go in our own opinion. What we need is not more regulation but more education and empowerment. There is the urgent need to use media and information literacy as a tool to change the behavior of opinion molders, such as religious leaders in our society. There will be media and information literacy training for targeted journalists and bloggers drawn from the four states. The purpose of the training is to equip these journalists and bloggers with the skills that will enable them to critically analyze information and news media content, understand the risk and opportunities associated with fake and inciting news, and become responsible and informed consumers and transmitters of information and opinion. Uh, through this project, Africa Mill expects to empower religious leaders in targeted states with media and information literacy skills, competencies to enhance their capacity to navigate the news media and the internet with a view to addressing misinformation or bias about their own beliefs or those of other religious community. The Chairman Christian Association of Nigeria Khan Kaduna State Chapter, Rev. John Hayab, and the Imam of Jumat Mosque Lafia, Nasarawa State, Dr. Mohamed Ali, said there was need for religious leaders to live according to what they preach and also teach their followers to have respect for the beliefs of other religions. Muslim, Christian and Muslim leaders don't, are not sincere. There is no good relationship between me and this Imam. But this, my followers will just hear me sitting on the television and telling them that I respect everybody. They don't want to hear me tell them to respect anybody. They want to see me respecting somebody of another faith. Then they will know that what I'm saying is true. Most of us don't do that. You live your life, you don't even speak to people of other faith, you don't relate with people of other faith. But when we come to media, we say, no, we are one, we are this. I belong to an organization where one of the message, or one of our key messages we preach is human beings are members of one family under God. We are using the three Abrahamic religions, the Judaism religion, the Christian religion, and the Islamic religion, where their account of creation seems to agree. They say that man originated from Adam and Eve. So simply put, this man, if he is a Muslim, he is my brother because he will come from the same ancestral parents. This man, if he is a Jew, I'm just using an example, he is my brother because we come from the account of our Christian, we come from same ancestral parents. And we use the issue of the blood in blood transmission. There is no Muslim blood, there is no Christian blood. In looking for experts to work for you, there is no Christian expert, there is no Muslim expert. You are just looking for a human expert. More especially, more especially, when you look at it, we are from the same Adam and Eve, just like my brother said. We are descendants of Adam and Eve. Then why are we castrating each other simply because we want to take the sympathy of one religion over another? Boko Haram are not Muslim. And they are not they are not for the doctrines of Islam. They are on their own. 
because they are killing the Muslim too. They are killing the Christians. They are killing everybody. In our contribution, the chairperson Jamatul Nasir Islam JNI Benue State Chapter Hajia Hawa Isa urged religious leaders to stop promoting hate or inciting messages that could lead to serious religious crisis. She said religious clashes, which always lead to loss of lives and properties, affect women and children more. When crisis come to any community, the women and children suffer it most. And the most important thing is that when we talk about religious leaders, both the Christian faith, the Muslim faith, are very strong, strong structure. What did that? People will not joke with. They have a voice to reach the common people. They have a voice to educate the populace. They have it all. But unfortunately, recently, I don't know actually what is happening. Many both faiths have gone to sleep. And that is why today we are suffering what we are suffering in the country. They have a voice, they talk to their people. I used to ask the Christians, what do you preach to your followers in the church? Are you the Muslims? What do you tell your followers in the mosque? The Director General, National Orientation Agency, represented by Special Advisor David Akoji, commended the initiative and pledged the agency's support, adding that the project will go a long way in addressing the issue of religious violence in the country. We used to have inter-religious dialogue platforms that we take from state to state. So what I propose is that um, I would leave the effort personally to collaborate with you on this. And then we will take lessons learned from what we will do together with you in these four states to the rest of Nigeria so that the impact is all encompassing and reverberates across the federation. Participants at the event also lauded Africa Mill for the initiative. These enemies of the state are trying to instigate uh, in true and brave faith against one another. And uh, we condemn it. I want to, on behalf of the Nigeria Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, endorse this initiative and I will take what I've held back to the leadership. And I'm sure in no time, the leadership at that capacity will get across to you. People should not be fighting for one. And also, the various religious organizations, uh, religious uh, organizations like the Khan, the, the Muslim organization as well, they should be able to talk to their various pastors and imams. Because what information are they disseminating to their followers? They should be able to send people to monitor some of these um, centers to hear what they are saying. Because whatever you pass now on the social media, it goes very far and very fast. Muslims are not enemies of Christians. Christians are not enemies of Muslims. They are where are the Roman coming from? If I tell them, I serve the truth. So I just say, I can just trade him. And he may go to say, tell him anybody who can hear doesn't care. He said, all the benefits in life he has of the church. He's refined. Yes, for them, you don't care. The important thing is your education to be somebody in the society, not church, not a Muslim. Not only what you say, what you do matters a lot to a lot of people. As a parent, anything you do, your child believes is right and is okay. You need to know that. We need to improve the capacity of our teachers, those who come across our children, teach them, inculcate good values in them. Let them understand the damages such information can do to them.